Okay, Fallout Season 1, Episode 1. Uh, I'm going to give you a brief background for me. I've played one of the games, which was Fallout 4. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, but I don't really know much about any of the other ones. And I've always wanted to try them. It's not like I just, you know, eh. But, uh, and I'm, I've, I've historically been a pretty decent sized fan of Bethesda games who uh, makes Fallout as well as the Elder Scrolls, uh, Skyrim. I've probably put more hours into that game than uh, I would say nine-tenths of all the other games I've ever played. And then you have, um, well, we won't talk about it. Anyway. Uh, we're going to jump into the series. I, I've got mixed emotions when it comes to video games that adapt into TV shows or movies because, you know, sometimes they kind of suck. But then there are examples of, you know, when they kind of get it right. Unfortunately, in order to get it right and please everybody, or at least most of the people, they have a tendency to pretty much do a shot for shot remake of some shit uh, like The Last of Us did. Uh, not saying it's not great. I'm invested. I'm going to watch it. Played both the games. Fantastic. Um, and well cast, you know. It is what it is. But then there are other examples that it didn't go so well. Ooh. Anyway, let's get into uh, Season 1, Episode 1. And uh, I'll, I'll try not to stop too much, but, you know, we'll stop here and there and then we'll we'll wrap it up at the end and uh, decide if we're going to keep going. We never know. All right, let's go. Is that what's his name? Oh, yeah, it is. Walter Groggins. Goggins? All right, birthday boy. I didn't know he was in this. Who's ready for K? Alright, you ready, Janie? That guy's just jealous because he doesn't have a horse. That's crazy. There's a, a a show that was similar to that when I was a kid. Um and and in the eighties, you know, it was kind of a Cold War thing happening too. So well not what wasn't kind of it was. But yeah, th this so far it, it it reminds me like of the beginning of Fallout 4, the one that I, I played. I'm I'm assuming a lot of them start off kind of the same way. Um, but had the floating robot in there. We all know how big a fan I am of robots. Um so anyway, yeah, I, I like the the feel of it. The the way that they did it where it's futuristic, but it's also kind of like the fifties, you know, in a weird way. I don't know what you call that, but I dig, I dig the whole vibe of it so far. If they ever drop a really big bomb, I'm told us to hold up your thumb just like this. And if the cloud is smaller than you thumb, now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your thumb? They told us not to bother running. Do you think it's gonna happen? I certainly hope not. That's what I would have done. All right, one piece of cake. Is it your thumb yeah. or mine? That's smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. Hmm. Pretty sure it's not. Here it comes. Brace for impact. Oh! We gotta get to the vault. Assuming that the nukes that were used were the ones that we've had stockpiled forever then you're, you're definitely going to have radiation everywhere. But most of those bombs, to my knowledge, were not helium uh, nukes, basically. With helium, there would be no radiation, but it's a much, much, much larger uh, yield in kilotons and in damage. So not a good scenario either way. But, uh, you know, modern day nuke, as long as you're not in the city, uh, yeah. I try to stay positive. Uh-oh. Wow. 
Wow, man. They did a good job with that. My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the well-being of my community. And I dabble in riflery. So oh, they got the, really the pit boys. Is that the dude from Twin Peaks? It is. What is his name, man? Why am I spacing on names? Okay. Lucy McLean. Like, John McLean's daughter, right? Wasn't one of his kids named Lucy? Or was that his... No, Holly was the wife. I'm talking about Die Hard, of course. Best Christmas film ever made. After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. Oh, Lucy. I Good am just God. excited for us to raise our kids together. Vault 33, huh? This looks pretty good. We all know that, Jet. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Lee Moldaver, Overseer of 32. Oh, we were sorry to hear of Overseer Jackson's passing in your telegrams. When blight hit our wheat, we lost a lot of good people. So, <laughs> who am I marrying? <laughs> Man, this would be the most terrifying thing. I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Monty. So what's your sperm count? Uh-huh. I mean... <laughs> what's... What's your favorite color, you know? <laughs> what... You got a middle name? Uh... Tell me about your parents. We got... We got so many questions that we could choose from. Before we get to the sperm question. Man. <laughs> to Lucy McLean and to this marriage and to hope. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> Hit it. Show me to my new home. Oh, something's going this? on, huh? Okie dokie. Just keep that coffee hot. He's gonna stumble upon a conspiracy. Uh oh. He just. That man just wiped himself off on the curtain. Yeah, these people are not, uh... Oh, no. You're in danger, Lucy. These people probably were from the surface, right? And they, they took over. Hope they have a doctor. Don't rip it out. Don't rip it out. Ah. <sighs> Health kit. Man. 
Man, those heals are pretty good, huh? No way. Not the pickle barrel. So I'm going to offer you a choice. Them or her. You look like your mother. Where are you taking Okay, you? plot twist. To the real world. Oh, who's this now? Oh, oh. The Brotherhood of Steel. Can you identify this relic? Broder? <laughs> Circuit. The ability to defend yourself is but one part of your training. <laughs> I hope. I hope that the entire culture works this way, uh, in, in a sense, but at the same time, like, why is everyone kicking this guy's ass? What did he do? Why do they hate Maximus? Check that thing out. These look familiar. I wonder why they're here. They're here to kick your ass. <laughs> if the trend holds up, you, they're here for you, buddy. <laughs> A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. But you're my only friend. Everyone else beats the shit out of me. <laughs> Wash your hands. Oh my god. Are they blaming him? I mean, put a bandage on top of that. I like how it's the thumbs up, and I didn't catch that. Like, this from the beginning, the, the cowboy. The set design and everything about this is, is, like, again, I've only got the experience of one game, but I, I say that it's going to be really well received so far. Uh... The, the violence is not something I was expecting. Like, I, I mean, I figured there'd be violence, but wow. Check that out, man. That looks cool. That didn't work. <laughs> no, no, it didn't. Lucy is on her own. Like, how would they even know? Like, how would you get back in? I guess the raiders had to get in somehow, right? Fossilized people. That's actually pretty metal. We have given you a name. Food. Education. A place in the world. Oh. So. I thought he said, we've given you a name, like they've changed, like they're caught, like a nickname, like they're calling them something else. And then he said, food. <laughs> I thought they were about to rush this fool with some forks and knives. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? Speak. I I didn't I didn't do it. I did not. I 
even if it means giving my own life. I'll do it. He switched up fast. And I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. Did he hurt his friend, though? Interesting. Wow. Somebody get these guys a big ass golf cart. Hold up. Was that a freaking doll? Like that was a baby leg. <laughs> You gotta get creative in the future. In the apocalypse. Is a godforsaken mute? Hell, some respect. How long has this asshole been moldering in the ground? How do we know he's not feral? That is why we brought <laughs> our little friend. A feral goon can't abide a chicken. Oh, wow, it's okay. Yeah, so it, it is him from the, the cover, right? I didn't I didn't put the actor to that face. Well, well, well. That's where you from, ain't it? Originally, I mean. And what the fuck would you know about where I'm from? Whenever somebody says they doing one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. But for me, well, I do this shit for the love of the game. <laughs> That thing shot a pair of scissors. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I can't even tell. I can't even tell what all. I see a pair of scissors. And it's just like random hunks of metal and shit. I don't. I can't tell. That is crazy. He kind of reminds me of the man in black from Westworld. We take it as it comes. I was not uh, expecting that. I was I, I guess I was expecting something more and I don't know why, maybe a little more family friendly. I, I don't know. I mean I wasn't hoping for that. This was great. Like this was phenomenal. Uh I I, I really like the way that uh They've encapsulated the, the theme of the game and uh, the the vault looked incredible. The outfits that they were wearing, the little jumpsuits, that looked really good. They even looks to me like they got the the pit boy things correct too, so that's cool. Um but yeah, man, the, the level of violence is just mwah, it's fantastic. It's due to a perfection. I love it. Um so yeah, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe and let me know in the comments if you played any of the Fallout series and what you thought of this episode. And uh, I'm going to continue on with this. It's uh it's it's a 10 out of 10 so far. I love it. I love it. Anyway, we'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.